So, now we're going to do some hauling from platform. Level 2 exercise, where I got a load or a casualty or someone who just want to come up uh, from the ground. Uh, I just uh, tied them in here. I got the red rope here, it's tied into the lower D-ring. The blue rope is tied into the sternal D-ring. So, the ID, the lower D-ring, goes to the ID up here. And again, the anchor is now the casualty, so we have to make sure so that we feed in the rope the right way. Like that. Click. Tighten it a bit. The other rope is the backup rope. And again, up is not going up, up is going whoo, towards the casualty. Put it in. And then I redirect the rope. You will see why in a bit, it makes it a lot easier to pull it. And then of course, make sure you got stop or not on both of your ropes. In order to get him up here, you need a hand assembler and a pulley. You attach the hand assembler pointing down towards the casualty. Make sure you've got straight lines. Put the rope into the pulley. Like that. Make sure you don't twist it in a funny way. Three lines, like that. Now, you build yourself a 3-2-1. It's really hard for me to uh, uh, start pulling like this. So I prefer to use my own weight, my, my 79 kilograms get the guy up. The guy down there is 80 kilograms. So I take a redirect pull it. Like that or like that. Ah, I think better like that. Okay. Then I can pull uh, two. If I let go of the rope, I do it like that. After a while, when you pull, you can't pull anymore because this one would hit. Then you need to lower it. One, two, low. And, of course, remember your backup. Should be tight. Now, if the casualty is very heavy, you can use a cross. It's really useful. So you just start pumping like this. One, one hand under, pull, two, like that. Three maybe. Remember the back up. Now I don't need to lock off the ID if I don't want to, because the crawl is on the braking rope, the chest assembly. When I take it out, I keep it in my hand and I lower my hand assembly. Put it in again. Pump, pump, pump. Back up. If I want to do it a bit further, I can push it down as far as I want to. We'll go pump, pump, pump. Three pumps. And then uh, you can use your back, uh, the back of what we Now we'll go a bit further. So one, two, three. Here's the cash lid. One, two, three. Back up. One, two, three. Back up. And one, two, oops. Two. I guess lower. Up. Back up. Now, see I can't push him anymore because the uh, hand ascender is too tight simply, too much tools here. So what I do then is, 
Lock off the eyelids. I remove behind the sender from the system. Put it somewhere where I know it should be, like there. Then I connect him straight into his D ring. That means I can lift him all the way up. See what happens. Open up. Pump. 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 Back up. Pump. 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 Yeah. And he's right where we want him. If I want him on the other side, I can just pull here. If I want to lower, I remove all the pulleys. And I prepare to look in the friction carpet now. And I can probably take him over here and land him right where I want.